Hi guys, it's Alicia here with Korean Crafts 83. Um, I just had, this isn't what I'm sharing, this is just what I'm working on and my desk is a mess right now so I have nowhere else to move it so don't mind this. Um, <laughs> I just have a few more Christmas cards, um, holiday, Christmas, whatever you like to call them. Um, cards to share, I'm just trying to do it as I go so I can get them put away in my um, card box and ready to um, fill out and stuff for Christmas. So um, this is the first one I'm going to share. I'm not particularly happy about how this one came out in the end because it was a good idea. It just got executed a little bit wrong when it didn't turn out how it was supposed to in the first place. So this is it and this is kind of what I'm talking about. I cut out this um, ornament with the Noel inside of it and I wanted the red part behind it to be um, glittered with the clear rock candy distress glitter. So I put some glossy accents in there but there were parts that weren't filled so I tried to go back and do it a second time and it got kind of lumpy. So I guess it kind of looks a little icier in those areas but whatever. This is um, um, My Mind's Eye. Both of these are My Mind's Eye um, Lost and Found. Um, and I just put some glitter tape around the edges behind it before I laid this down on my card. Um, like I said, I cut this out. I paper pieced the very top silver part and tied a bow around it. Um, put a couple little bling here and then I um, colored these um, Studio Calico Wood Veneer Stars um, with Aged, Maho aged Mahogany um, Distress Stain. And um, put those on there and then just pop this ornament up. And then everything is edged also with that aged mahogany. And then the, the inside is just a sentiment. So that's the first one. Um, <clears throat> excuse my voice. It's very early here. <laughs> I just woke up a little bit ago. Um, this is the second one. And I thought this one came out so cute. I really like this one. Um... I started off with just some white cardstock, and then I took a red piece of cardstock and I punched around it with a Fiskars um, stitching look punch. And then I cut this out of the Tim Holtz um, die, and you know these little swiggles come with it, so I put those on there. And then I covered these with um, liquid pearls, and it really made them look like frosting. Um, and then the little hearts I punched out with. Um, uh, I think it was like a Martha Stewart punch where a bunch of them punch out. And I just put them on there and um, stickled them in red. Um, and then same with these. I have a, a punch, a Martha Stewart punch. Um, it's like a scallop with little holes in the scallops. And so it gives you a couple different sizes. And so I use two bigger ones for the eyes and the smaller ones to make the mouth. And then I put black distress stickles on there. So they look kind of sugary, you know. And then this is just a sentiment. Um... I believe that came out of the My Mind's Eye also, and um, so I just popped that, you know, he's popped up, and um, blank on the inside, so I thought that one came out really, really cute. I like that one a lot. Um, this one, um, this is kind of a take on, and I feel so bad because my last video I said one of the cards was um, a take off of a Gen Jennifer McGuire card. It was actually a Christina Werner, so I'm so sorry about that. I apologize. Um, but this one is kind of a mixture of techniques that I've seen from Christina Warner, Jennifer McGuire, and then just various other videos that I've come across. Um, so basically I stamped and embossed these trees. This is a Tim Holtz die, and I masked off, um, you know, I just cut freehand a bank and masked that off, and then I punched a circle out for the moon. And then um, I just took my Distress inks, and I'm really loving this technique. I love how it turns out. And I just, um, you know, Distress, like this is pumice, pumice Stone, however you say it. And then I have Evergreen Bow in there. I have um, Faded Jeans in there. I have Iced Spruce in there. And then along the very edges, very slightly, I have some black soot. So I really, really love how that turned out also. And then I stamped Merry Christmas. It's kind of hard to see on camera. Um, in like a silver and then in clear embossed it and then another little sentiment and then this last one is pretty simple um, I just um, stamped the back with this what was it called a harlequin maybe I don't know if that's right or not so don't, <laughs> don't judge me um, so I stamped that um, I have a wood block stamp of that and then I just white embossed it and if anybody has um, a good 
um, like detail white embossing powder, powder brand, let me know because I'm currently using Zing and it's really grainy. It doesn't melt the way that I like. I mean, I like how it gives a little bit of texture, I guess, for patterns like this, stamps like this. But if I were to do like a sentiment stamp, it just doesn't come out. Um, it's really big grain, so it kind of melts. It doesn't melt like a detail. Um, and then I just cut a banner, and this is, I believe, um, Teresa Collins. Um, what is the name of that paper pad? The one she has on now, Santa's List. There you go. Um, I cut this banner out, and it just says it's the most wonderful time of the year, and it has a little like vintage picture. Um, and then I scalloped some of these that actually no this was on spellbinders that I cut out for a different card and I just cut the, the scalloped edges off of it and put it behind and then um tied a little bow there with some twine and then another little sentiment so those are my quick card shares um thanks for watching and um I hope everyone's having a great day out there